Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a Genzo knife. The older box says it all. This is a older model. To be more specific the G7482 GR. This is the time where they put the sticker with the information that they are rebranding but I don't know if it is a uh, rebranding or just they are separating the brand and the manufacturing company or the design because Firebird are designs again so is the manufacturer inside the box standard pouch and silica gel and yes this is yet another automatic that I bought to complete my uh, collection and this one is probably if I'm not mistaken the only one that comes with a manual lock so because uh, there is only one way to put it in your pocket and uh, for all of those who want to to carry it in your right pocket and are afraid that uh, maybe they would uh, cut uh, some parts, lower part of their bodies, then yes, Genzo has a options for you. So this this knife is on a little bit of a larger size. So firstly, uh, let's uh, go through the specifications. So we have a over length of 21 centimeters or 8.3 inches the blade length is 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches the blade thickness is 2.8 millimeters or 0.11 inch the blade width is 2.8 centimeters the blade is made out of 440c like probably oh, uh, in this time period we are speaking 2000 maybe 9 2008 2010 440C. Uh, handle length is 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. Handle thickness is uh, 1.2 centimeters or 0.47 inches. Handle width is 2.8 centimeters or 1.1 inch. And the handle is made out of four stainless steel and uh, G10. So the G10 is medium ply. You have different colors, uh, color options out there. So black, uh, I'm only sticking also orange, uh, wood, green. Yeah. Like with all automatics, it has a the plunge lock. You can also uh, lock it in the open position. The weight of the knife is uh, 133 grams or 4.7 ounces and why I think that uh, ha having a safety on uh, on a knife where you cannot reposition the pocket clip or if you don't have a uh, tip up carry is I did show it in uh, probably some of my previous videos but uh, let's go through once again if you carry your automatic knife as a standard in your right pocket, like uh, you usually do if you are a right-handed user, and the knife would some at some miracle open. Let's simulate it. Uh, where is the button? As you can see. Uh, the blade is somewhere here then what could happen is when you are standing up and it opens and you try to sit down yeah you could really badly cut your lower portion of your body and you would not uh, like that of course that will probably mess up your day really badly so safety on sorry 
safety on. And then you can open it. So let's see the, the pocket profile once again without me rambling about the safety. So it is almost completely hidden, which is really nice if you are uh, if you consider how your environment will react to the knives. So. And given the, yes, this is an older model, they are still available out there. There are still sites uh, who offer them. You can also go on uh, on eBay and not uh, not pay uh, any kind of premium. So yeah, the prices should be around thirty dollars. Yeah, given that this is the older model, uh, some uh, uh, retailers or resellers. Uh, will ask a little bit more than your standard 20 to, to 21 dollars like in the past on some older models like i have featured here on my channel but yes this is definitely a, a step up uh, uh, with the security or with the lock feature on it so if you are concerned about the opening then um, this is a Ganza model for you but that keep in mind that uh, if the lock is engaged and when you are in distress and try to open the lock and it did not open then uh, you will be really uh, surprised <laughs> yes it can happen okay so now uh, let's see some size comparisons so firstly uh, let us compare it with uh, previous Gans Automatic, so this is the G736. This is the G721. This is the G719. And this is the G747. So this is a more a, a traditional uh, design invented as an automatic and this is more a modern design. Now let's see the general comparisons. So I have here my favorite Tucson the 111 one of the best EDCs out there the Benchmade 940 Osborne Access also a really popular Delica 4 Endura Large Cryptilian And the recon one from Cold Steel. So as you can see, this is a full-sized, really nicely built knife. Good medium ply uh, G10. There are no blade play, which is excellent to see on a on a budget Chinese-made knife. Nicely sharp, has a full flat ground blade. All right, absolutely good quality or about standard quality for what you are paying. So, and that is probably everything you you would need. So, I highly recommend uh, not only this one, but usually. 
uh, every Genzo knife because they are extreme high value for the money and you are getting decent uh, blade steel and also materials there is nothing wrong with uh, with 440c yes nowadays you have some more extravagant or should I say a premium uh, exotic uh, steels out there which will last you uh, sharper years but they cost a lot a lot of more 10 20 30 times more than this one so <laughs> keep that in mind okay so if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions about the channel about uh, what knives or gear you would like to see uh, just uh, send me a message or uh, or just uh, make a, make a comment I also uh, would like to thank to my subscribers if you are not a subscriber then uh, also thank you for watching like always uh, I, I'm, I'm saying consider uh, subscribing I try to uh, to publish at least three videos uh, per week uh, mostly knife and gear oriented but uh, of course I'm trying to also incorporate uh, unboxings of stuff with uh, regarding miniatures warhammer and modeling and then uh, hobby stuff general okay so if you're interesting in this kind of uh, things check out my playlists I have lots and lots of videos that I made through the years and I always uh, try to uh, to share with you my passion and also uh, give you a, a nice uh, uh, it's option for all your gears that I have bought through the years and which are in my opinion uh, good value and if they are not then I will uh, also say that because I'm not sponsored by anybody so I can I can uh, I have the luxury to to speak uh, uh, whatever I like about the item of course so thanks for watching see you soon and have a nice day